We've been looking forward to it for a long time. It's been, we made the album, I finished it in February. I mean, we had to wait a long time for, for, to get all the bits and pieces together to, to put it out. Was it hard to keep it a secret? I'm surprised we managed to, because I thought, you know, normally Ronnie talks to everyone about everything. So I was really sad, Ronnie can't talk about this album. So, I mean, you could say we've been recording, but no, it, it, um, it was hard to keep it all um, under your hat. But yeah. We have Stevie Wonder, um, there's Lady Gaga is on there. Sir Paul, <laughs> oh, Macca turned up as well. So yeah, I mean, but uh, it was, it just so happened you know, that Andrew Watt, the producer, the, he was making records with his people and they just sort of went, okay, come on by, you know. And we had worked with Lady Gaga before and we were on the road with Stevie Wonder in the 70s. So, I mean, all of them, you know, nothing new. Charlie uh, gave Steve Jordan his blessing and so when he did part, even though we were shocked, we were prepared in a way because he handed the baton on to Steve Jordan and Steve is carrying, you know, flying the flag for Charlie so well. They're both like explosions when they get behind the kit, you know. That's so great that Charlie did that, isn't it? It's like, it's just a really, really nice kind of sentiment, yeah. isn't it? He said, take Steve until I can be there, you know. I said, you're going to be there anyway, whatever happens, you know. And uh, the spirit of Charlie lives on, you know.